yo what is up guys and i'm back on our youtube video and in this youtube video i will be buying the kanjali tank in gta online and i'm gonna be customizing it um so right now i have 3.4 million dollars i could have bought this a while ago it's not like money was an issue it was just because i don't really feel like buying it and now i was just like i'm gonna buy it so yeah so it costs 2.8 million dollars so i could afford it but I don't have enough money to fully upgrade it. It is right here, 2.8 million dollars. I'm not gonna have enough money to fully upgrade it, but I will have a little bit of leftover money, so I'm gonna buy it right now. So I just bought it. So it'll be delivered to my facility, which is right by me right here. And just to let y'all know, the Kanjali tank isn't a new vehicle or anything. I'm just making a video on it just because I'm deciding to buy it. And obviously, if you don't know, you have to own a facility to buy the tank because that's where the tank lives. Alright, so my Kanjali arrived at my facility and I called a mechanic to deliver me a car so I could drive to my facility. On my way to my facility right now. Oh, no. Alright, so I'm in my facility now and I do not know. Oh, there's my tank all the way over there, so I'm gonna run over to it. So first, I'm just going to test it out without any customizations outside, and then we will customize it and then test it out again. So this already looks insane, and I'm pretty sure it has obviously that gun all the way over there, and then there's like grenade launchers on the side. I'm not sure if I need to buy it separately, but we'll see. Right, so L1 to fire main cannon. Alright, that's pretty cool. Obviously a tank has a cannon, the tank cannon. Alright, I'm gonna go find some pedestrians driving around and I'm gonna blow them up for science experiments. This isn't that fast, obviously because it's a tank, but here's just a normal SUV. And I got a one level for that. And now I'm just gonna blow up this whole road. So you can just hold down L1, it shoots. It's not even that slow. Alright, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure how many rockets you could take, but if you're wondering if you could take it into like a Los Santos Customs, obviously it won't work. It says it only could be modified in the facility. Alright, so now that I've tested it without any customizations, I'm going to go back to the facility and customize it. So I am back and now I will customize it. I press the right on the D-pad to access the facility vehicle workshop. Alright, oh, it doesn't take you somewhere else. Alright, so armor. First, I'm gonna go through all the customizations, then I'm gonna spend my money after. Um, brakes, that's the same. Engines, that's the same. Oh, you could drop proximity mines. I'm honestly probably gonna get that. Horns, that's the same. Headlights, that's the same. Oh, there's headlights on there. I, I honestly did not notice. Um, oh, there's liveries on here. There's a lot of different ones. I'm probably gonna get one. A lot of these are locked. I'm assuming I gotta do the research at Bunker. Um, that, you already keep it. Oh, you could change the color of the turret. And then the crew emblem, you already know, probably gonna get that too. Primary weapons. Oh, you could get a rail cannon. Oh, grenade launchers are separate. I might, I'll just buy it if I have extra cash. So that's it. So I'm gonna for sure get 100% armor, so it takes more rockets. Um, brakes, I'll leave it at stock brakes. Engine, level 4. Proximity mine, um, yeah, for sure. Horn, let's see. Or actually, I, I'm a spend money on, like, the important things first. This don't matter. Um, livery, we should for sure go for a livery. Kind of like this. Modern 5 color. I like winter camo, it looks clean. Winter camo. Or actually... I should, I should respray it first, then I have an idea. So you already know, I'm gonna go with the crew color, make sure to join my crew, I'll put a link of it in the description. And then secondary turret color. Right, I'm gonna go with a lime green for the turret. And then the logo, yeah for sure. That's on the door too, when you get in the tank, so that's pretty cool. Primary weapons, um... Is it, what else there's there? I'll get turbo for sure. Alright, I could buy one thing for $300,000. I could get grenade launchers for the passengers. Or I could get a real... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the grenade launchers for the passengers. 
because I already have a weapon, at least they'll get a weapon. So I don't know what a huge difference it will be with the railgun, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like more damage. But it's uh, it's already a cannon, there's not going to be a huge difference. But yeah, I got everything that I... Oh wait, now I could go for like breaks and other stuff like that. I'll go with street break. I can't afford that, so whatever. Already got that. Horn, let's see. Default horn. Literally the same thing. Yeah, I can't even... I can't afford anything. Um, I can't even afford that. I like $3,000. I can't afford any liveries. But honestly, I like it without any liveries. That looks... Clean. Um... Yeah, I pretty much got everything. Except the... Thing... Yeah, I got everything except the railgun cannon. So yeah, I'm gonna go check, test it out. Exit the facility. This is pretty clean. Alright, so it still says tank cannon because I don't buy it. Wait, can you go to first person in this vehicle? Oh, it just shows that. But yeah, it looks pretty clean. It is a lot faster than it was before. Same cannon, obviously. And proximity mines. Oh yeah, it drops him. Alright, I'm gonna go to the main road to see what type of damage it does. And I'm gonna see if I could get into the passenger seat to use the grenade launcher and the um, other machine gun. Alright, so this is just the normal... I'm gonna just shoot that car over there, but... That's just the normal cannon from before, and then this is the proximity launcher. Alright, I kinda missed because what is this guy doing? I'm ramming him now. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna put a proximity grenade thing right there. And let's see. Awesome double kill. So yeah, it's just basically the same. Let me try the grenades. Those grenades are for like people that sit back here, so it's gonna oh, wow. It's just gonna make me sit in the front seat. What if I wanna go and yep, it's gonna make me go to the front seat. But yeah, there's my logo right there. But yeah, I really like this vehicle. I don't have it I didn't own any tanks in this game, so yeah, it's pretty clean i like i like it a lot more better than the normal tank obviously um i wanted to test out the other weapons but sadly i can't because it keeps on putting me in the driver's seat because there's no one else in the vehicle before i end the video i just want to let y'all know that you can um call the mechanic to get this vehicle delivered to you i just found out I guess that's the end of the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know if y'all think this vehicle is worth it for that amount of money. It's two point over 2.8 million dollars and then it costs like 3.9 million to get full upgrades. So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.